everyone and welcome back to my channel as you can see my background is a little different today and I just thought that it'd be fun to film in the quad since the cherry blossoms are out a lot of you guys have reached out to me on Instagram and thank you so much for messaging me asking me a lot of questions just about UW in general so I thought it'd be fun just to do a little Q&A or just like a UW 101 I've gotten a lot of questions on applying to different majors and whether it's really competitive or not. And I would say that every major is different in the level of competitiveness, but a lot of people apply to their major after their first year. For me and a lot of freshmen too, we are just doing our prerequisites and it's actually a really great time just to find what you might be interested in and you might pick up an elective that you didn't think you might enjoy and you actually really like it. Once you commit to UW, you get assigned a counselor and it really, really helps to schedule Zoom calls or meetings with them and just ask for their advice. A lot of classes have a lecture section which is generally a lot of people in your class and then you'll have another class later in the week that is with the teacher's assistant and it's usually in smaller groups. And that's usually when you'll take your quizzes or you'll go over material. It's kind of unique to each class, but that's something that I didn't know. I thought we were just going to take our tests and do everything in our lecture sections. It actually helps that things are kind of broken apart. And it's also easier because then you can ask your TA for help if you're a little bit more intimidated of talking to your teacher. The next thing that I wanted to talk about were dorms and if you haven't watched my move-in video definitely watch that and you'll definitely get a better sense of how our move-in day was. I currently live on west campus but the dorms are separated on north campus and west campus and you can also consider living in an apartment or possibly in a fraternity or sorority house based on your interests and we chose west campus just because it's closer to the Ave which is where a lot of the food spots are and kind of where we can go study and grab coffee if we want. This year, a lot of people say that West Campus is more social, but I would say it's kind of a personal preference because North Campus is closer to University Village, which is another shopping area. It's also closer to uh, Greek Row. Something that really helps is looking online and just scrolling through like the pictures and descriptions of everything too. I am really blown away by just how convenient and nice everything is um, in the dorms because we have our own private bathrooms which has been amazing. We also have a grocery store on campus called the District Market and we also have our dining hall. I do also want to talk just about social life and I would say it's all based on who you are and how extroverted, introverted you are and what you are looking for. Of course, right now during COVID, it's a little bit harder to meet in bigger groups and of course there's no football games or anything, but a lot of the clubs and organizations on campus are still really doing a great job of reaching out and trying to hold events online. So I would say if you really put yourself out there and you just go out with an open mind and find things that you just might want to try that you haven't heard of before or you might be interested in. I would definitely say that's a great way just to connect with people. I also joined a sorority this past quarter. I did it through an informal process called COB. And if you guys want a whole nother video just on my rush process, I would love to do that. Of course, I had to talk about food too. The Ab has so many awesome restaurants that are actually a really great price for college students. And also our dining hall called Local Point has a lot of good options. They really try to mix it up all the time for us. We also have a grocery store on campus that you can use your Husky card for. So sometimes we do our grocery shopping there. And there's also a Starbucks truck on campus that you can use your card for too. 
Last but not least, I've gotten so many questions about the weather because of course coming from California too, it kind of scared me and made me think about if I wanted to go to Utah, but I honestly would say that it does not rain that often. To be fair, maybe we had a lucky winter and it didn't rain that much, but something that no one ever told me about Seattle was how often the weather changes throughout the day. So a lot of the times during the winter, it would be cloudy and then the sun would be out. We would sometimes have full rainy days, but I would definitely say your best friend is just layering, having a good puffer jacket. But another great thing is that we have seasons. Like I'm in a tank top right now and especially when the cherry blossoms came out and everything warmed up, everybody on campus was just a little bit more lively. And I think it's really helped me appreciate every season because in California, it's like 70 and sunny every day. So I definitely took the sun for granted. It's also just so beautiful in Washington. You guys have definitely seen pictures of campus but it is so beautiful. So do not let the weather scare you. It's actually so nice here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I couldn't cover all of the topics, but if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to respond. Also, thank you for all of the support and all the nice comments that I've received. Just hearing that I've helped you guys on your decisions. If you got into UW, Congratulations, that is such a big accomplishment. And don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.